sometimes in Minecraft you can do things that you didn't think were possible. I'm going to show you how to make a real campfire in Minecraft. No mods, this is Update Aquatic and this is what you're going to end up with. It looks really realistic and it will keep burning forever. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next video from me, Avalance, in my quickie series. I'm going to show you ever so quickly something that I think is really quite cool. Now, I'm going to be honest, I didn't make this up, but I got spammed. In fact, my channel got spammed so much that I actually took notice of the bloke that spammed me. Now, I'm not encouraging you to spam me. Normally, I just delete it straight away, so don't think about it. But this one, really intrigued me so I thought I'd have a little look and it was actually a very very good idea so how to create in Minecraft chops to you mate you've actually got me to showcase your video on here and I'm actually going to send people to you I'm going to put the link to the video in the description below because that is only right but we're going to make a realistic campfire in Minecraft we're not just going to use like netherrack and light it on fire we're going to make it look like an actual campfire should we crack on with it yes we shall you need almost nothing for this clever little build. What you need is four cobblestone walls, one bed, doesn't matter what the colour is, three buckets of water. I suppose you could have two buckets of water and make an infinite water source, that would work too. 15 grass blocks. Now I'm assuming you're going to do this on grass, so this is what the floor is going to be. And actually you can reuse some of these blocks so you can get away with a lot less. It's four redstone dust, one bucket of lava, five armour stands, four pistons, not sticky pistons, normal pistons, and one lever. That is it, that's all you need. First thing is first, find yourself a place that you wanna have your campfire, a nice little campsite, and I think this looks like a nice little spot. And then dig yourself a three by two trench like that, and have a bit jutting out the side, and then another three by two trench, but don't dig out that other side. And then at the foot, one end here, put in two stone fences, then get yourself a bed, shove your bed in there, and then get yourself a bucket of water and shove the bucket of water in there so you've got a bit of flowing water. Then what you wanna do is cover that and that up. Nothing more complicated than that to start with. Then get yourself your fences again and put one fence there and one fence there. Come along, shove yourself a bucket of water in that block and you should get it kind of go around the corner. And then get yourself two temporary blocks. Doesn't matter what the block is, just two temporary blocks at the head of kind of above where that bed top is there on the corner of the L. And then you want to get armor stands. Now come right parallel to the edge of the, um, the L and point to the side of the upper block and drop in an armor stand. It should flow to the center part here facing you. Then come to this corner, you see the corner of your square, face the top block, drop in an armor stand, it comes facing you. Then come round to the face, drop an armor stand, it drops in facing you again. Come round to the corner, or what would be the corner, drop in an armor stand, it goes in facing you. And then finally, come in again sideways, just on the side, drop in that armor stand, and it will go in facing you, and drop down, looking a little bit like that, which is fabulous, and that's exactly what it is you are trying to achieve. So that is part one. So you should have this set up. Those armor stands are sitting on top of the bed and that little fence post there. That's what you're trying to achieve, which is great. Then cover up the source block that you've got at the beginning of the L. Just fill that in with your ground. That water will go away and your thing will start to jump up and down like a completely mad thing. What you've got to do then is come along to this fence post, the one next to your tower here, get rid of it, and put a water bucket in there. So that then becomes a water source box and your armor stand just stops bouncing, just stops jumping around because it's not interested. Then come along to this fence post here, get rid of it and put yourself in a lava. And what happens, you get this hissing noise like that. That's perfect, it is what you want. Get rid of this fence post, excellent. And then come along here and cover over the four parts of that campfire, come on top, do four more, and then four more. Get rid of these two towers here, and get rid of the middle section there. That's brilliant. 
Then get your piston, come close to the hole, and so the piston is facing downwards on all four of these grass blocks. Has to be facing downwards. Then come along, put a ring of four redstone on there, get yourself a lever and shoot that lever. Now what that will do is that will fire these blocks on top of the fire. Now what you've got to do is put four more of your ground blocks in there, come up, fire it, that fires all four of them in again and get rid of that. So you've got that kind of effort there. Get rid of all your stuff here. You don't need that anymore. And then finally, get rid of those four blocks. And you are left with, albeit a very, very hissy, campfire. And that campfire will burn forever because what's happening is the lava and the water are simultaneously setting it on fire and then putting it out, setting it on fire, putting it out. And as a result, that's the hissing noise you can hear, which is a little bit off putting, I'll grant you, but the effect is rather good. And what you end up with is a really nice little campsite with a bit of a carpet. You can use uh, dark oak steps and some spruce wood trapdoors there in 113 to make some really nice uh, chairs, you can have a little bit of a fence post with a carpet on top for a couple of picnic tables, uh, stick some bushes in which are just some leaves and a few random flowers and you've got a really lovely little campsite. I think that is the perfect little campsite for you to go out on your Minecraft camping trips. If you wanted to build your little self a little hut in the background you could do that, that would be fun and then you could have this as almost a semi-permanent little mountain residence. I think it is a great little system, little pond next to it. What a nice little effect. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and the notification squad by slapping that bell. See you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.